Welcome to Industrializing the Commonwealth. Here, we're at Krupp Manor, where an enterprising woman has taken over the property and restored it to its former glory. You might notice first off the landscaping has been dramatically improved. The fence and the house itself have also been restored and are now fully intact. She rebuilt the house and has turned it into an entertainment center. She hired quite a few uh, fashion-forward young women to come work for her, and they have a variety of shows, uh, entertainment options. They also have a very well-stocked bar, and it's just a very nice place for people to come and uh, come and relax and be entertained. Now, it's supposed to be seen more at night, so we're going to transition to the night mode here. As you can see, the ambiance is kind of a, more of a low-key vibe. It's, uh, we've got some lights in here, they're kind of dim, it's kind of relaxed. Uh, more, of a, more of a night setup. Up front, we have a, the bar on the first floor. It's uh, very Nuka-Cola themed, but also has some uh, adult beverages as well. And in through here, this is the main entertainment room. So they do, you know, a few different types of shows, just a uh, you know, good place to relax. And use some of the neon lights more for the for the color and the light, so they don't really say anything. Those helicopters haven't gone away. You know, maybe they're uh, maybe they're waiting for the, the late show here. In here is the lounge. So you grab a couple drinks uh, from the bar, grab some Nuka Colas. You know, have a seat in here. Upstairs we have a second bar, where the bartender really liked these, uh, these animal-themed uh, items, accessories. Uh, when you put the necklace on, you can't put any other clothes on, so that's what we see. So we have a good selection up here too, it's more, uh, you know, alcohol. They're also very uh, chem-friendly, so they have quite a bit of that. And there are also a few rooms in here that uh, they act as hotels, so, you know, if someone comes in or, you know, they have a little bit too much, they want to stay the night, uh, there's, a, there's some accommodations for that. This one has a little bit darker lighting, and a little bit of a different uh, feel for each of the rooms. This one looks like it might have had uh, a security officer or someone staying here recently. I'm sure someone will clean that stuff up. There were uh, a few signs left over from uh, from the construction. And just another room. Looks like some of the chems from downstairs were, uh, were left up here.
This is the largest room, very spacious, has a, has a pretty nice ambiance. And just in case you missed the bobblehead, it was it was kind of in the shadow, so we'll do this one last shot. This has been Croup Manor. Thanks for watching.